Years later is a series where I took a look back on the past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode? Basket case. Basket case. Okay, so I'm back. I took like a month break, I think, maybe longer. After that Buffy video, I took a lot of things out for me. So I was like, okay, you know what? I have videos already planned out, scheduled, a bit behind. I'm like three or four weeks behind and I need to catch up and get ahead. So Basket Case, this is a film and series that I thought was gonna be, you know, one simple B horror movie. And then when watching it, especially the second and third movies, it is just something else, which is both a positive and a negative. It's about two brothers, one normal that wants to live a normal life and one that's conjoined and disfigured and deformed he was just kind of born that way and then very later on both were removed from each other and so now they just have kind of each other and now the normal brother has to go out get a job work for himself and his brother but the funny thing is he carries his basket hence basket case get a lot of weird looks you know is that like a picnic in there or like the hell's going on it's a bit boring it's made very cheap it's quite obvious and one thing i do appreciate is that this isn't a wait, hold on is this a slash i think the other two are but is this one i guess it is but this came out in 1982 and this is a time where you know friday the 13th was a huge hit slashers were a big hit halloween happened it was just a big old slasher craze and i do appreciate that this one is just a weird looking deformed conjoined boy or twin but still very cheaply made it's very simplistic nothing too complicated normal brother wants a normal life he really wants that but feels tied down to his brother who can't do things by himself but then can also kill people as well which i don't really get that but hey you know what what Whatever. it's wacky out there idea and so the catalyst for the conjoined brother is that he's jealous he feels betrayed that his own brother would want to leave him alone and go do normal things that people do and because of that he starts well not because of that he starts killing these uh, tenants in his apartment or hotel or motel slowly but surely he finds out that hey you know what my brother doesn't want me I'm a burden well guess what I'm gonna kill him too because why not and you know what? I don't even know any memorable kill I really can't the only thing I do remember is the very end where they're both kind of fighting each other and they're on the sign of the hotel both fall down splat assuming both of them dead but obviously not because there are two more movies but as an ending it works you know there doesn't need to be a franchise or a series of this but there is which is a bit crazy and then that's how the movie ends with both brother either dead hurt kind of news outlets finding out that hey these two brothers are related and you know it's kind of everywhere now and so overall 40 years later does basket case hold up no i don't think it does like obviously it's cheap Cheaply made. I can't fault the movie for that, but I guess if you like the big old slasher craze and this weird kind of like take on slashers and this conjoined twin killing people and the plot is really thin, it's not really complicated. And so spreading it out for an hour, 20 minutes or something like that, you really feel the runtime. It doesn't really need to be that long. And I also wouldn't really recommend people watch this movie because aside from horror fans and if you're bored and you're like, what other new horror franchise or series I want to binge watch? Here you go, Basket Case. Because I really would not recommend this to any of my family or friends really. Boring and weird, I would think to them. So does it help? I'm going to say no. Unless you like this type of stuff. But no, overall though, I don't think it does. But I do personally enjoy it. I do like the movie. And then the second movie, which um, right off the bat, it has a sex scene of two deformed people in it. And when I first saw this, I thought I was on crack. I was smoking some crack or some shit or smoking some weed, but no, it's kind of out there. You know, it's like, oh, this turned into a very simple B series into this, which I don't know what it is. I don't know. Like I was down with the idea of him just being alone and killing people for the sake of killing them. Sure. Flasher ish, I guess. But both of the brothers, they survive. They're in the hospital they're taken to this family of deformed people and somehow the normal brother goes there because he's like technically a part of his other brother but anyways they're there they meet all of these deformed people all of them having their unique traits and looks and whatnot and uh, i was done with the movie so far i was like, okay this is cool it doesn't need to be a sequel this is very old nice lady taking care of these people because people aren't willing to take care of someone that looks different in this movie or universe all right that's you know messed up sad i like where this is going and throughout the whole movie there's this other side plot of both the brothers being like you know we need each other but we don't the normal brother's like you know what i don't need you i want to go get with this girl that's also within this house so please let me have that and i think he does until the very end and so that conjoined brother goes and has that sex scene while the other one goes with the other girl and turns out this girl has like this deformed look thing inside of her and obviously he's you know shook like what the hell like why would this pretty girl be in this house unless she herself wasn't deformed and so he pushes her out which is not done well obviously on like little trolley or whatever goes out the window grandmother or whatever is like go find 
find him and instead they find brother stitching himself with his other controlling brother because why not throughout the whole movie is him questioning whether he belongs in the same house as his brother and the other people because he's the only one that knows about this and knows how it feels to be looked at and deformed and whatnot i guess either way it at least doesn't come out of nowhere which is good it is kind of settled with him and his brother but still stabling together with him and his brother on his side super creepy but also like okay you know like this whole movie is just all right it doesn't need to exist okay let's have uh much more deformed people which are fun again all very unique catalyst for him is that one pretty girl how is it so long uh, maybe it wasn't long but it was like it was talking and everything it was weird it kind of lost me it was like um okay they're going this direction props to them going this direction by the way but i'm not really down for it not really for me and then the third one, I do like a bit more because one, they're outside of the whole school or house. We gotta take this outside and now the brothers accepted who he is and whatnot. And it's a lot more gorier if you're gonna have this weird wacky series or whatever of deformed people and how they're just kind of looked down up. Why not go crazy on the other side of, you know, killing and gory. So this one has a lot more gore, but the plot again, it's I guess thin, but a lot more interesting than the first two because by the end of the movie, the mother or grandmother or lady is like, guess what? We're a thing. They exist. It is revealed to the whole world that they exist and please don't look down upon them or else they'll kill you that's a very dark ending to this franchise as of now maybe they will uh remake this movie or some shit you know i actually hope they do just because why not just remake basket case and see what people think of it nowadays would be pretty funny but because they're outside they deal with the city and cops and so they kill a bunch of cops they get into legal troubles and that's what kind of leads into them being on like the news or tv telling the whole world and at a time where tv was a big thing and meant something millions of people saw this shit and then the brother which by the way the only reason i'm calling him brother is because i forgot his name but his role in the series and his existence doesn't mean much now it's all really about the other ones and this bus riding like the magic school bus getting caught killing people because why not they're tired of being looked down upon which is a good plot thread but then you also have to deal with him and I think another girl or something something like that but i will remember this one for the end if you're against us we will kill you pretty dark funny way to end off the movie and just like with the other two this one's fine it's okay it's not completely bad because again the whole looking down because they look different they feel hate and just kind of revolt around that and that was it for the basket case franchise in the first movie again like i said in the first one i don't think i would recommend this to anyone aside from horror fans because i don't know what other people that isn't in the horror community would get out of it aside from hey that guy looks weird and pretty messed up that sex scene with two deformed people that was weird and the fuck is going on you know like i don't know what they would get out of it what i got out of it was this is another horror franchise that came and gone away in the early 80s and early 90s you know that's really what i got out of it just another one of those i don't want to say disposable but just kind of forgotten maybe not forgotten but just kind of yeah it was a thing and some people know about it some people don't and that's kind of where it ends maybe a remake would be you know what? i actually really want a remake now anyways does it hold up no but would only recommend it to horror fans but yeah that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching